Let me preface this video by stating I find rapists disgusting. In my mind, they are up there with murderers and pedophiles, and I think the perfect punishment would be castration. But that's just me. Another quick note, I will be saying women throughout the video, but know that this can also happen to men. Anyways, it's important to be honest about what is actually happening on college campuses, especially for the parents and some of their daughters who believe that they have a 20% chance of being sexually assaulted while they are at college. So let's debunk the myth of the campus rape culture. There is a common contention on many campuses based on an online survey that says one out of five women will experience some type of sexual assault during college. While this number is grossly over exaggerated, which I will get into soon. First, Many of those who believe in the rape culture myth like to cite their beliefs by presenting the Title IX Equity Statute, which was created to end sexual discrimination in educational institutions. Professor Laura Kipnis wrote some essays about sexual assault paranoia on campuses, and so Rape Culture is Real Advocates filed a Title IX against her and tried to ruin her career. I think this accurately depicts the sexual stigma rampant on college campuses, and how statistics like one in five women are sexually assaulted will only make things worse for the socio-demographics of those campuses. Basically, if you question what they say, you are responsible for sexual discrimination. It's this mob mentality that makes it hard to have an honest, intellectual conversation about sexual assault on college campuses. When a woman makes a claim that she was sexually assaulted, the police should take it seriously and they should investigate the accusation fully before coming to a conclusion. Just like there are those who file false police reports, there are those who file false rape accusations. So it is important to investigate the accusation since a rape charge would most likely ruin somebody's life. Don't get me wrong, like I said earlier, I find rapists disgusting and I have no sympathy for those who do that disgusting act. Rapists to me are up there with murderers and pedophiles. And just because the rape victim isn't dead, that doesn't mean the rapist didn't kill her. But we also have to be careful that those who are accused of rape are actually guilty of rape before we ruin their lives. So where do they get the statistic that one out of five women are sexually assaulted? Well, it's actually quite interesting. The study is an online survey often conducted under a grant from the Justice Department. The aggregate used to determine sexual assault is very docile. For example, forced kissing would be an example of sexual assault. Attempted forced kissing would be sexual assault. If a girl was very drunk, it would be considered sexual assault. If she wasn't sure she wanted to have sex, it would be considered sexual assault. So the bar is set pretty low on all of this. Now, let's move on to some other statistics. The DOJ did a study from 1995 to 2002 entitled Violent Victimizations of College Students, and they discovered that there were six sexual assaults per thousand per year. So across the nation's four million female college students, that comes to about one victim in 40 students, which is still too high, but definitely not as high as one in five. Another study by the DOJ from 1994 to 2010 deduced that sexual violence has decreased by about 60%. Now, in my mind, one sexual assault victim is one too many, and I've said that numerous times in the past, most recently in my Truth About Gun Control video. And you will continue to hear me say that again in the future. That being said, it's not appropriate to depict sexual assaults on college campuses as an epidemic sexual assaults are actually decreasing. And this notion that is an epidemic will only lead to higher anxiety for students and parents. College should be a time to have fun and enjoy your early status as adults. Not stay at home because you feel that if you go out with four of your friends, that one of you may be sexually assaulted. So in conclusion, although any victim of sexual assault is one too many, it is not appropriate to spread the false narrative that there is a rape epidemic at college campuses. This will only increase the anxiety for the parents and daughters, and family members in general. And it will 
increase the social stigma that college campuses are overran by sex criminals. You should feel comfortable going out to parties with friends. You should enjoy your early 20s while you can, because they don't last forever. Lastly, and kind of off topic, I got some feedback on a different video that I should start dressing up again more. In my old, older videos, I would wear a suit and a tie, always a suit jacket, so I've got actually a lot of comments on that, surprisingly. So, in the future, I will probably be dressed more appropriately, more professionally, if you will. Just not in this video. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing and being a patron. The Piper Report is an alternative news source that discusses topics you won't hear from the corporate media. And a special thanks to my patron, Jazz Phillips. And I'm done.